In this video, a healthy 20-year-old man comes to the physician with his wife for genetic counseling prior to conception. His sister died, died of cystinosis and autosomal recessive disease, affecting 16 transport across lysosomal membranes. The incidence of this disorder in the general population is approximately 1 in 40,000. So P squared is equal to 1 in 40,000. The wife's history is non-contributory. The wife's risk of being a carrier for this disorder is closest to which of the following. So carrier state, that's the one we have to find out, which is also equal to 2 P cubed from the Hardy-Weinberg equation. So now let's just go ahead and do this question. So we know that this is an autosomal recessive disease, and in an autosomal recessive disease, the parents have to be heterozygous for them to be able to make an, uh, make an offspring who has the disease. So let's say big A, small A, big A, small A. I mean, they don't have to be heterozygous. They can also be one heterozygous, the other is homozygous. But the thing is, they at least has to be both of them heterozygous. It only That's the most common way autosomal recessive diseases uh, happen, that both the parents are usually going to be heterozygous. So you're going to have small a, small a. That's the one that's going to give you the disease. The other ones are big A, small a, big A, big A, big A, big A, big a small a, big A, small a, right? So anyways, um, we know, at least know that the parents of these, this woman who came to the physician for genetic counseling had to be uh, heterozygous, but that is neither there nor here. It's not really related to the question. So let's go ahead and, and, and do our Hardy-Weinberg equation. So we know that P squared is equal to 40,000. So P is equal to square root 40,000 minus 1. Simple math, right? So P is equal to... Um, I can get rid of the square root and I can write 40,000 minus 1 by 2. Now I can write P is equal to 200 square times 1 by 2. There's a negative here. So P is equal to 1 by 200. So that's a value of P. Now we have to find the value of Q. Now we know that P plus Q is equal to 1. So Q is equal to 1 minus P so Q is equal to 1 minus 1 by 200. So Q is equal to 200 at the bottom. So 200 minus 1. So Q is equal to 199 by 200. Yes, that's a value of Q. Now we have P and Q. Now we can do 2 times P times Q. But let's, I'll go to the next page for that, for clarity. So 2 times P times Q is equal to 2 times P is 1 by 200, and Q we just found is 199 by 200, okay? So, let's see what happens. So, we can, we have 100 here, and this is so close to 199, we're just going to pretend that this is 200, for the sake of simplicity. So, we have 200 and 200 crosses out, it, you know, it's, the number is significantly small. So we're really left with 1 by 100 approximately, right? So the, the, the value of 2PQ is going to be 1 by 100, and that is the probability of this woman uh, being a carrier. So in this, case, the, in this case, the answer is going to be D.